Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Izzy, I am a Sydney, Australia based flight attendant of Fly for Qantas and I thought I would start a YouTube channel since I get so many questions about my job. Um, I am also an experienced makeup artist, I love to do makeup. I thought why not start posting on YouTube since people are frequently asking me, can you do a tutorial, can you do a get ready with me? What's the day in the life like of a flight attendant? Like, what do you do when you're on an airport reserve? So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna start posting on YouTube. I don't care if it's embarrassing. I don't care if it's cringe. It's informative. And you know what? It's really fun. I love making videos. So today I'm going to be doing uh, my first YouTube video. I hope you guys enjoy the content today. Let me know if you have any questions. Please leave anything in the comment section below and I will try my best to respond to everything. But yeah, if you guys could please like the video and subscribe to my channel, just so I know that you are actually enjoying the content. And I will see you guys shortly. Bye. Okay, so starting with skin prep, I like to use moisturizer and a sunscreen that has a high SPF. I like to do my moisturizer so that it can just sit on my skin for a couple minutes. I'll just give that a minute to sort of soak in and while I'm doing that I'm going to start to prepare my hair. I like to use this hair mask which is the Fructus um, by Garnier. And this is actually really good because it can be super damaging to have your hair pulled back in a bun all of the time. Also it smells really nice and as you can see um, <laughs> my hair really needs something. I'm going to start off by just wetting my hair. Just to the point where it's damp. This is not a hair tutorial, this is just how I do my hair. It's whatever works for you at the end of the day. Now I'm going to just take a fine tooth comb. I'm just going to pull my hair back into a nice tight ponytail and then I'm going to turn it into a snail bun. I usually just take a little bit of hair gel just to smooth down the front here because I get like little flyaways and stuff. Just a little bit on the fingertips like that and just literally smooth it down. Twist this up. I like to get it a nice tight twist so that it doesn't come out. And when it feels like it's digging into your skull, that's how you know it's really good. <laughs> so to the makeup, I'm now just going to apply a little bit of sunscreen. Okay, so under the makeup, I like to start with my eyebrows. I use this ancient <laughs> chocolate pop palette by Too Faced. It's, she's been through a lot. Um, this is gone entirely. I don't know when this happened, but if it works, it works. It's probably expired, but like it's not expired until I'm done with it, okay? So, so I've got sort of um, gingery, like copper colored hair. I use the shade uh, Salted Caramel for the front of my brows, and then I blend it out with the shade Semi Sweet. Here we go with the brows. I know it looks a little bit dark, but I promise it's a good compliment. Also, I forgot to mention that I usually put on a bit of this Laneige, like lip mask um, whilst I'm doing my makeup. So recently, I have been doing my makeup a different way. Um, and like I said, there's no way to do your makeup specifically, but this is how I like it done. Um, I'm a big fan of underpainting. So you do all the dark, like the contour, the bronzer, the blush, before you do any foundation and concealer. And then that way it kind of looks like you've got a natural glow from within rather than like a big harsh brown line on your face. I use the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Beautiful Skin Sun Kissed Glow Bronzer. But this is really expensive. Like I'm going to be honest, it is expensive. Um, it's a beautiful product. Something that I would recommend to use is the Mecca Max Home Brand uh, Contour Sticks. These are just as good. They also have uh, bronzer sticks as well. And honestly, the pigment in these, insane. And it's so, so worth the price. They also have blush sticks. And I'm just gonna take that on a Real Techniques foundation brush so I can blend it out and buff it into the skin. Take a generous amount. Anyone who has this product knows it's quite pigmented. So if you don't want too much, this is going to look a little silly. Think of it like layering instead of having lots and lots and lots of layers of product over your face you're doing one base layer so it's a lot lighter on the skin as well you know most of the time i'm working eight to ten hour shifts so having a heavy face of makeup it's really not nice yeah, i'm not going to go too heavy with it and then i say i'm not going to go too heavy and then i immediately add more but you'll see 
and rather than dragging it with a brush which is really tempting to do I'm really I'm just patting the product in this is what we're working with I know it looks like a really bad fake tan trust the process trust the process on this one right so next I'm going to go in with the rose ink blush this is in the shade uh, hibiscus it's really nice it's sort of like a deep uh, purpley toned blush but when you blend it out it's super super rosy I love it it's literally taking a little bit on here as well and this is super pigmented a little bit here and here and I am a nose blush girly so <laughs> just wait <laughs> just wait blending that in from the top to the bottom so you want it to come up here onto your temple and then follow all the way down onto the cheek here okay now that you look sunburnt perfect <laughs> i normally use concealer but today i'm going to use foundation so i'm using the sephora brand foundation mine is actually broken the pump is actually broken so i literally just take out the <laughs> applicator and just literally apply it like this i'm not gonna put too much because it is quite pigmented that's it firstly though i am just going to carve out the brows quickly i just want it to be crisp as the brows i feel like it makes a huge difference i don't know now it is time to blend and um i like to use a trusty beauty blender as opposed to a brush just so we don't have any streakiness going on i have a wetting the sponge with water i'll just use a setting spray a little squish i'm just gonna blend like outwards i just follow the shape under my eyes and in my forehead so we've got more of a transition into like light to dark nice and now that the product is sort of evenly dispersed under the eye because there's a little bit on the beauty blender i'm just taking it over this area so there's sort of like a very very thin layer over the top Boom. from this you get this lovely subtle it's a win a win is a win as we know the longer that you leave something to sit on your face the harder it will be to blend because the product starts to dry be more comfortable putting um like say the, the foundation under your eyes blending the under eyes and then adding it to the rest of the face that also works you don't have to put it all on at once for me i like leaving it because then you get a little bit of extra coverage as well so look at that stunning i love makeup it's like literally just painting like it's so fun it's like painting on your face like that's what it is honestly no harsh lines and we've got nice bright under eye and then you've got that kind of glowing look from the blush and the bronzer before highly highly recommend this method next to set um i actually use this laura mercier powder that i received as a sample from mecca normally i would use this MAC powder, more affordable choice though, is the Maybelline Fit Me. Every girl and their mom owns this powder, and for good reason. Like, it's excellent. Aura Mercier is a loose powder, so I'm just going to take a powder puff. This one's from Mecca, and I'm just going to set the under eyes that way. Pressing it in under the eyes, down towards the nose area. For the rest of the face, just going to brush up on this and press it in including on the eyelid because I like a nice matte base. Now I'm just going to go in with the Too Faced Cloud Crush uh, powder blush. I love this blush color. It is so, so cute. It's this beautiful um, Barbie pink. I'm just taking a fluffy sort of angled brush, just little gentle taps. And since I used uh, the Rose Ink blush before, that was like a warm tone blush. This is a cool tone blush, so on top, like, I feel like it looks really, really nice. I actually never used to wear blush, um, because, like, that 2016 makeup, I swear that had everyone in a chokehold onto the eyes. Again, going in with this, and I'm going to go into the shade Milk Chocolate for a base, and then go back into the shade Semi Sweet for a darker, um, bit more of dimension. In this fluffy Morphe brush. So this is the shade Milk Chocolate Semi Sweet, and pop that into the crease. Now it's all blended, I am going to go in with like a smaller flat brush and take the shade Champagne Truffle on the brow bone here and a little bit on the inner corner as well. That's it. That's literally all that it takes. Take a fluffy brush and take that same shade and I just like to put a little bit on the cheeks there, cheekbones and down the bridge of the nose as a nice sort of subtle highlight which just in turn makes the look really glowy urban decay all nighter setting spray this is my absolute favorite setting spray it's 
a little pricey, but you really get what you pay for. Okay, while it's drying, I'm gonna go in with the MAC Stack Mascara. Love this mascara, it's excellent. You can lay it so many layers and it looks so good. I'm going to take the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Liner. Is Pearl Talk the shade or what it's called? I don't know. It's amazing, it's really worth the money. I got it as a gift and I have rebought it twice since because it is so good. And I have overlined just slightly and I feel like it's very natural looking still because this lip shade is so true to my natural lip color. Then I'm just gonna go over it with a lip gloss, any lip gloss. Just going to grab a spoolie um, and a little bit of hair gel and just with the flyaways. Oh, and this is the perfume that I've been wearing recently. This is the Cause Vanilla Freesia perfume. This smells absolutely delicious. If you like sweet smelling perfumes, I pair it with um, the Sol de Janeiro, the 71. Right now, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed the um, little tutorial or 360 for you. That was way harder than it looked because I'm on a spinny chair. <laughs> I just wanted to do like a close up of the makeup because I didn't do it before. And I was doing my tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Um, please give me a like if you did. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I will see you soon. Bye! Oh, what, I don't know where oh, I'm 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 I'